All right, time to play some H3VR, newest update just came out. Oops, want to make sure I'm not stepping on anything in my room. Uh-oh, okay, whatever. It's been a while since I've recorded, but uh, I'm feeling uh, a lot better today. So, uh, yeah, we got a new update. Update, uh, let me pull out the list here. Where is that list? Oh, no, I didn't do it. Where's my list? Uh, it's got to load up. But, uh, here we go. Wait a minute. Update 98, which is the fifth year anniversary for H3VR. All right. Cool stuff. Okay. Well, this one has uh, plenty of stuff, mostly uh, grenades, but uh, there's two new weapons. So let's check those out first. All right. First one we need to see. Break action. Uh, hopefully it's in the uh, item spawner. If it's not, then... Um, let's see. Hold on. Nope, that's not it. Mm, probably not here. Oh, there it is. There we go. It's the OG. The cartoon 8-gauge. Actually, no, it's not the 8-gauge anymore. It's now the 3-gauge. Three, three and you can see it's back. And... Uh, it's back with a vengeance. So let's just uh, load up a couple of rounds here. Spawn some Sosigs. Spawn a lot of these guys. All right. So basically, it's uh, it's cartoony. So uh, you're gonna see some funny stuff happen when I shoot this, as you can probably as you probably seen in the devlog. But uh, it blows you back because it's that powerful. Oh, cartoony powerful. So, yeah. It's back. And it's... <laughs> okay. Just a couple... Oh, that was a two-in-one right there. Wow, another two in one. And I just had to scratch my nose for a minute. Hold on. Okay. Got it. Boom. Boom. <laughs> two for one. Ah, nice. Just gotta. Wait, right, hold on. How how many can we get? No, oh, spreads a little uh, tight. Ooh, I kind of went up on the thing there. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna aim for the body here. It pushed me on top of the barricade. All right, there you go. The OG, which was the cartoon 8-gauge, but now just the OG. Uh, let me see. Do I have a ammo panel? Let me... Uh, oh, nope. Uh, utility. There we go. Let's see if this uh, has any alternate ammo. Probably not. And so, oh, this is also April Fool's, huh? So. Oh, no. Come back here. There we go. All right, let's see. Select all type. Three gauge. Double lot buck. That's uh, that's pretty much all you get with this. But still pretty fun. And of course, for all you Team Fortress 2 uh, lovers out there, this could be a replacement force of nature, I guess. Uh, I don't. I didn't play Scout that much, so I don't really... I think that was it, right? But, uh, yeah. Hopefully the audio is recording. I can't really tell because, again, I don't have a second monitor. But, yeah, here we go. Let me just, uh, 
some rounds in there. All right, that was the first weapon that Anton gave us. The second one is, uh, aside from its uh, insanity, it's it's kind of a personal favorite of mine because it sort of represents uh, <laughs> an industry that's sort of local to me. Um, but uh, let's let's actually find it first. Um, hold on, carbine. Is in the carbines. It is the no. It's not in the carbine. Where is it? Just need to find it. Uh, if I were in the... Oh, there it is. I found it. All right. So this is the M16... Thousand? <laughs> M16... Hundred? Thousand? But, uh, yeah. So you've got this monstrosity right here. If you can see it. I'll just put it on a table. Right there. And uh, I said it's, it's, it's very, um, very personal because this is a Filipino-made weapon made by Armscore. And, uh, yeah, so our act, technically, I think this is our first Filipino made weapon in the game, but, uh, some people would argue the 1911, but that was made in America. It was conceived of when they were, when they were here, but, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Fires 22. LR, and this, uh, again, this crazy looking mag, which tries to, when you put it together, makes it look like an M16 mag. We love our M16s down here in the Philippines, so. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, let me go back here. All right, we'll check that one out in a minute. But yeah, this is, uh, this is your crazy looking April Fool's weapon right there, aside from the... Um, Cartoon 8 gauge or the OG. But uh, yeah. Oop, did I not put the safety on? No. Huh. I guess I didn't charge it. Oh, right. You have to pull it out. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me bring this with me. I am using the spectator cam since I'm not doing any modded maps right now. It actually performs pretty well. Let's switch over to the right right eye camera. Let's grab this. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me, let me just... Uh... Wait, hold on. Is my... No, turn off the player uh, Sosik body. Uh, let's see. No, you guys can't see that. Well, whatever. So yeah, 22 LR. Uh, it's <laughs> it's an interesting weapon. I'll, I'll say that for sure. We come up with some weird designs sometimes. But uh, let's check out the other one. That's the stock. This is the <laughs> M16000 A3000, right? Or I don't know how that's pronounced. M1600, A3-3000. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, this one uh, This one is uh, tactical, so you can uh, add some stuff. Oh, did I not spawn a f drum magazine? Where is it? There it is. Okay. 150 rounds. You can have a good time with that. All right, let's grab ourselves a sight. And then, you know, Anton's already shown this off, but it's, you know... I did not. Oh, hold on. Let me just stick this in there. Look at that thing. That's that's pretty crazy. Oh, I did. Huh. All right. Well, let's grab a sight. Let's uh, put something something crazy on this thing. Let's try a magnified scope. Uh, oh, maybe uh, LPVO. Low powered variable optic is that uh forgot what it was uh stood for but uh oh you know what where's the one with the uh red dot the uh on top of it there was one could have sworn 
I'm trying to look through here. Hmm. Maybe I was mistaken, but there is one with a... Oh, oops, that is a wall. I have to watch out for that. Need to shuffle myself over here. There we go. Let's grab one of these. Let's stick a, stick a red dot in here. You know what? The substance reflex site might be better. Go. Four times. Yep. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's do a grip. Let's stick a grip on this. Hmm. Something that matches. Oh, wow. No, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Well, no, I can't. Can I? Hold on. Oh, I can. You know what? I'm gonna put a um, I'm gonna put a bipod on this thing. There we go. All right. Uh, and I don't know if uh, I don't know if this is possible, but let's put a suppressor on this thing. The Chowungus? No, no. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, we can do it. All right, cool. There we go. Got ourselves a nice looking weapon there. <laughs> nice looking weapon. <laughs> the front grip is a little too far, but that's okay. Okay, and we'll uh, go with the scope here. Oh, this one has a three round burst. Completely right. forgot. I think we got all of them. Oh, nope. Got a couple more. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Ah, tracking, no. no hard Stop. Tracking. Right here. Right here, tracking. No, my controller's right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really need to adjust that uh, base station. All right, cool. There you go, the uh, M uh, 16,000A3000. Pretty cool. All right, well, those are your uh, your meme guns. Now, if they only had the AK-22, because, you know, you got the AK versus, like, the M16. It's also made by Armscore, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's just uh, drop that. And uh, we'll clear out some spots here. Oh. I actually want to try something. Is it actually pushing me down? It is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Let's get rid of this stuff because we need all the spaces we can get. Because in addition to being a uh, fifth anniversary April Fool's kind of thing, Anton also decided to uh, focus on one of the more lesser focused aspects of this game, which is the grenade part. And Anton has decided to give, an, uh, give us more grenades. So, oh, uh, before we do that, let me go into the options panel here. And let's try out this stuff. So it's, uh, you know, we got some uh, visual shock uh, explosion and auditory stuff as well, so it's all off. If you guys don't like that, you have to turn it on, but I am going to, well, you know what? Let's actually try this out. Let's grab ourselves a uh, default. I guess this is the default now. Oh, yeah, also, I wanted to try this out because Anton uh, made it so that uh, left-handed people have an easier time with the grenades also. Oh, man, there's so much stuff that Anton decided to add. Let's see, uh... Firearms object. Okay, let's reveal the controller geo. As you can see, the pose used to be up here, right? But now it's down here. So it makes things a lot more easier to uh, handle. And of course, if you're left-handed, flips over like that. But that's that's cool. So, you know, 
helping us uh, left-handed people out there. But here's the... Uh, let me just go back here to the work in progress features. There we go. I'll just grab this. Oh, I should have spawn locked this. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Let's actually spawn lock that. I don't know about that, uh, that positioning inside the uh, quick ball slot, but I don't know. Uh, get used to it, I guess. All right, so all the stuff off. Probably gonna die with doing this, but let's just see what happens. Obviously, it's everything's off, and we're dead. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's just bring this over here because uh, this is where we spawn. Okay. All right, so let's turn on explosion shock visual warp. This. Drop, drop that there. Hmm, not too bad of an effect. Well, at least for me. I mean, I don't really get motion sick because I've never gotten motion sick. One of those lucky people, I guess. But for some people, that might be a little weird. Hopefully, this is showing up on the um, spectator cam. I didn't think about that. You know what? Let's actually try that out. Hold on. Let's drop this. Close. I don't know. Maybe I should turn off spectator cam. Oh, it's over here. Let's just go default right now. Sorry for all the uh, camera shake. All right. So that's the visual warp. Hopefully you saw that. Let's try the uh, vignetting. Basically the black borders at the end of the screen. I don't know if I could see that, but... Uh, Maybe I should throw it. <laughs> That's so stupid. I don't know why I'm doing that. I should just throw it a little bit ahead. Hmm. I don't know if I saw it, but uh, maybe that was on the um, spectator or the uh, recording. All right. Now we've got all audio stuff, right? So Sonic Overload, which uh, will deafen you, I guess. That's the uh, best way to put it. I think it would be much better if we had a weapon going, like Anton showed off. Let's try with a... Let's go with a M16. An actual one, not the uh, M16000. <laughs> the drum mag in here. Let's, uh, where do I put this? There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, where am I? Here we go. Over here. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Like how it just like adjusts to your hand. Oh, I died. <laughs> well, I couldn't show it off. We'll try that again. One more time. Let's throw it farther away this time. There we go. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay. And we've got the o Sonic overlo Overload. Oh, that's an Overlord. Overload ringing. And that's basically like tinnitus, which I do have in real life. Don't listen to your music at loud volume. Uh, people out there still listening to their music in loud volume, stop it, because it gets annoying sometimes. I think it's on my uh, left ear, because I use my left ear more than my right in terms of headphones and stuff, so... Well, you can hear that one, so I don't need to fire. But there you go. Oh, wait. I didn't turn off the other one. So let's try that again. One more time. Oop. Hmm. That's, uh, I guess, I guess both options need to be on. So you can turn that off if you want. Just to have the uh, deafness, right? But I'm going to turn it on. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna get rocked here. Cool, cool. 
And of course, Anton, I think, fixed the uh, grenades. Let's clear all these SOSIGs here. So now you can, let's say, hide behind a wall. Fire in the hole. I wonder if that applies to half-height walls as well. I'm going to have to sit down for this, but uh, it's a good thing I have a chair here, so I can sit down like this. Okay. Peek your head out. Actually, you know what? Let's reload. Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> had to go into the legs there for a bit. <laughs> okay. Actually, this is a bad spot for that. Let's put it here. Oh, left-handed. All right. That Sosa keeps moving around, scaring me. All right. Frag out. Hey, it actually worked. All right. Cool. So you can now hide behind half height cover or smaller cover and uh, not get damaged. Actually, I didn't really check that. So let's try that again. Four, five, six, seven. Huh. I think I might have gotten a little too close there. Need to actually four, three, six, five. Throw it out. Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, just don't have the grenades, like, land right here, all right? Throw them, throw them farther. Because I think right here... Oh, yeah. It was a little too close to you. But now, you shouldn't run into any issues. Actually, that was a good throw. Yeah, didn't lose any health. All right, cool. Let's stand back up. Whoop. So, those are the new grenade visual options and tweaks. I will keep them all on. Yes, that's I don't know. I, I I don't mind. I don't mind those uh, those effects. Some people might not. So you can turn them off, or they're already off. But uh, anyways, let's check out the grenades. I've been talking too much about all these uh, systems. Support grenade. Okay, let's uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, Anton said that only pin grenades uh, have uh, new stuff like that works. So impact grenades uh, probably not going to do the visual effects, but uh, whatever. Let's uh, check out the pin grenades, starting with the 1916. Okay, let's get rid of this. You know what? Cool, cool. So they were, I don't know where this is from, 1916? F1 grenade? Was it, uh, I'm not too familiar with grenades, guys, so you might have to excuse my uh, lack of knowledge. All right. F1 Russian. Oh. You know what? Let me get rid of these geometry so we can take a look at the... Uh, New grenades in detail. Hmm. Cool. Okay. The uh, F Mark II, I guess. FMK2. Hmm. Ooh. Nice. Oh. Didn't quite get that one. Uh, the Mills Bomb. I think this is from World War II. We're just gonna have a whole stack of grenades. I think there's like 14 grenades, or is it 13? Uh, this one is the original M219 Grease Weasel that Anton uh, added to the game before, and then uh, Mark 26. Sorry, the M26. Okay. Hmm. 
Where am I going to put this? Just don't have enough pockets. I should switch over to... Um... <laughs> Alright, so whatever. Uh, cyber grenade, which I will put here. We all know that one. This is the new M67. So this is what it actually is like. You can compare the two. This one is a big chonky boy. This one, real life size. <laughs> All right, the Mark II, which has uh, been here before. Oh, I am running out of space. You know what? Just get rid of all these grenades right now, all this explosives. Very, 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 very uh, dangerous. That's what I meant to say. Pack rat. Okay, cool. We have a lot of space now, so stick that there. Uh, where is this? This one there. Okay. Uh, we got a gas grenade, which uh, acts like a smoke because there is no real gas effect for the uh, SOSIGs. The RG42. Right. Okay, let's see. The RG5. RGN. RGO. Oh man, I'm almost out of space. The Bino. Hmm. And the URG-86. And of course we've got the uh, flash grenade. Which I am out of space. Huh. That's a lot of grenades. Okay, then. So those are all the pin grenades. So you have pins and stuff. Again, the impact grenades and all the other explosives don't have uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the visual options. But let's actually see what the flash grenade does. Since it's not going to hurt us. Hey, okay, cool. All right. So basically he has all the uh, auditory and visual effects. And uh, yeah, let's... Uh, that's weird. I can't... Uh, huh. I can't spawn lock this one. Hmm. Let me just... Uh, Nope. Pressing every button. Can't spawn lock. That's a bug. To be able to spawn lock these. This one, I can't. Nope. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> I'm dropping grenades left and right. There we go. Okay. Nope, can't spawn lock that one. All right, so I guess we'll start with this one first. This is the... does not have a name. Oh, my goodness. 1916, okay. And, uh, oh, if I remember correctly, Anton said that uh, the grenades have different, like, properties, so older grenades might have shorter fuses or uh, more powerful explosions. You never know, so you have to try them out. So let's... Uh, Let's see, let's see how this one does. I wish I could spawn lock it. You know what? Maybe I'll just grab a, another one. Go. Nope. All right. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one. About four, four seconds, I guess. I can't really, it's not scientific enough, but let's just, uh. Oh, and I think he said that some of them are, are, have variable fuses, so you can't rely on count. So, can you put this back? No, you can't. <laughs> Once you pull the pin on the grenade, it's it's alive. So, all right. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Eh. I'm about to die too. That one seemed a little bit more powerful, but uh, all right. Got the uh, M67, which uh, everyone knows. All right. 
one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Again, uh, you can't really, I mean, you'll probably have to watch the video to actually time it out. I mean, uh, so I can't really say that what I'm, my count is good or not. But I just prefer to do that, you know. Let's see. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. I don't know if that's, uh, you know, we need to be more scientific about this, but we don't have the time for that, so let's just uh, keep throwing grenades. Oh, goodness. I don't, I don't know why I do that. I wanted to see the explosion. And also, since some of these are frag grenades and some are not, we need to see the bullet trails. Oh, well. That's right, I, that one doesn't spawn lock. <laughs> and Anton will probably fix that. Once I get out of this, there'll probably be a, a little hot patch or whatever. So, let's... Uh... Oh, that's bad. I can't see it now. Ooh. That one's pretty powerful. Wow. If I remember correctly, he said the red one, the red lines signify that they're they're more powerful, I think. Uh, well, that, that's from the video. I don't remember exactly what he said, but... Okay. Good view of it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get killed by this stuff. Let's try this one. This is the FMK2. I'm not going to time it, because that's just... Oh. Cool, cool. This is whoop, the RGN. I don't, uh, actually, some of these could be impact grenades. I'm not uh, really certain which ones are, but uh, I think this is an impact grenade. Of course, you got the Mark II, the pineapple. This is not an impact grenade. This one has a fuse. <laughs> Man, if this were real life, I'd probably be deaf by now. Or dead. Uh, nah. The Mills Bomb. This is not an impact grenade. Um, I think? No, it might be. Actually, no, I don't know. We'll, we'll just see. No, it's not an impact grenade. Okay, what's next? We get the, oh, the gas grenade. Yeah, this one. It's not really gonna. Oh, we still died. <laughs> well, surprisingly, it has, uh... okay, well. All right, it does have a, uh... Sort of, I guess, an, well, it does make sense. It's an, it's, a, it's an explosive, so. Oh, okay. And, and, okay, I see what this is. Ah, oh, I get it, I get it. It's also a grenade. So it starts off as a grenade and then adds a layer of uh, smoke so that uh, you can conceal yourself uh, after you've uh, maimed your opponents. I see. All right, this is the uh, M26. Whoop. I'm too close, too close. Okay, good. Still alive. F1 Russian. Oh, that seems to be a lot more powerful. Okay. We got here. We've got the RG42. Huh. Cool, cool. And then the RG5. Oh. 
And then the uh, RGO. Oh, yeah, that was a little too close. <laughs> I think I might have lost a bit of health there. Okay. And we've got, oh, the Beano. Yeah, it's an impact grenade, all right. <laughs> this one's a pretty fun one. Oh, it is. It is actually, I think it is heavier, so it doesn't fly as far. I, I think Anton mentioned that, that uh, different grenades have different weights. So throwing uh, one grenade might be uh, not as easy as uh, another one. Oh, this one, yeah, this one's heavy. Just by the uh, the arc of that alone versus, uh, where is the, uh, there we go, the M67, which goes really far. And uh, we've got the Grease Weasel, again, the original from uh, the, uh, you know, Oop, did I just drop something? Oh, I did. I dropped another grenade. <laughs> oh, this one is heavy. Yep, that hurt me. And, uh, Cyber Grenade. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, I wanted to actually change the, uh, the fuse time here. Everyone knows about the Cyber Grenade, hopefully. 12 second fuse. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,000, 1,005, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000. Oh man, I was out of breath. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this one. This is the uh, URG 86. I think this might be, it's, I don't think it's an impact grenade, but we'll see. No, it's not. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. What kind of pattern is that? <laughs> uh, I don't know if that... Is that supposed to be like that? Hold on. Let's put this one down here. Oh. <laughs> Huh, that's, that's a strange uh, pattern right there. Ow. Huh, that is, uh, that's weird. Oh, did I hit my mic? Oh, my goodness. I can't really even tell because uh, my, my second monitor's down. Okay, well, uh, hopefully the audio's okay. But uh, that's, a, that's a strange uh, fragmentation pattern there. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intended. Hmm. All right. Oh yeah, the Beano. Forgot. Let's throw that one. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a it's an impact grenade. Don't throw it towards the ceiling. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. You know what? For one last one, we got the uh, grease weasel again. The original. The first. Okay, I think that's all of the new grenades. Let me just check my mic here. Let me make sure it's not. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, I don't know if the jingler is... Uh... Okay, cool. That, well, that's been there for a long time. And like Anton said, uh, some of the impact grenades, some of the other explosives, they don't quite have the... Uh, same, like, abilities as these ones. Although, no, the, I think he said that the, uh, the, the cap grenades don't quite, uh, are, aren't the same, so. So I think that's all of the new grenades. Uh, yeah, and he said that the, uh, he's still working on the, uh, steel hand grenade. So, yeah, oh, that's not it, though. Let's actually go to the main menu here, and let's check out 
as, uh, as soon as it loads. Let's check out the new, well, not new scene, but the remastered scene. Just like the Friendly 45 scene was remastered, this one is now got a new coat of paint on it. Play some Boomski. Hopefully my shoulder holds up. It's actually pretty good. That's why I've been playing like, the last couple of weeks. My shoulder has just been killing me. Okay, it's a lot actually. It's, it's a lot larger than what I thought it would have been. Because when you're watching it on a screen, it looks small, but this is actually a pretty uh, pretty big area. Oh, can't go over there. Oh no, you can. Huh? These trophies. <laughs> wow, this is pretty big. Okay, go up here. Oh. Hey, got a piece of geometry right there sticking out. <laughs> no, just, uh, that's, you'll never see it, but, uh, hmm, okay. Oh, come on. No, I can't. Well, <laughs> I thought I could jump inside of the, uh, cup, the, uh, trophy. But, uh, here we go. We got the new Boomski scene. Just checking it out. Looking... Uh, I need to get back up there. Hold on. Uh oh, I am not moving. I don't. What's going on there? All right, I need to jump back on. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. <laughs> okay, so got Boomski table rules: three grenades to throw. Pick a grenade up. Move the pin <clears throat> or cap. <clears throat> throw a grenade along the ramp to launch it into the play field. Continue throwing grenades. Blow up trophies, blow up vehicles, blow up buildings, blow up everything. That's some tips. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's definitely that's a good tip right there for number one. Remember where the walls are, so I got to find my wall here. Yeah, I hope that's my wall. This is a wall right there, and a wall right here. So I think I should stand right here. There we go. There's no walls in front of me. No walls behind me. Throw underhand, because uh, as you'll see in a minute, yeah, that'll be required for the longer targets. All right, release the spoon to start the fuse, so, you know, cook your grenades. Uh, I don't have it inside out. Uh, okay. All right, cool. So this is the grease weasel. And uh, throw distance is short, so what we need to do is hit those accelerators to get it farther. All right, so underhand throw. I didn't do it. <laughs> One more time. Ah. Didn't go, quite go far, but uh, it's okay. All right, let's just aim and then... All right. First attempt was a failure. Let's uh, ooh, try that again. Okay, let's go for, uh, well, since this is a heavy grenade, I'm going to go for one of the closer targets here. Hmm, those cars go, go over there. Okay, we got a car coming. So, oh man, I missed. It's a heavy grenade. All right. We'll try to hit that, uh... Yeah, there we go. All right. RG5. 3.2 to 4.2 seconds. Throw distance far. Hmm. I wonder if I can just overhand throw it. Not going to be good for my shoulder, but, uh... My left shoulder, <laughs> at least. Let me see if I can throw it to, uh... Over there. 
Oh, well. Hey, I guess I got it. Oh, man, that was actually pretty bad for my shoulder. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, like I said, that's why I've been kind of out for a couple weeks. Because my shoulder has just been, like, not, uh, not playing well. So, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, so this is the RGO. 3.2 to 4.2 seconds, throw distance medium. I think that, yeah, this is an impact grenade, so... We're just going to have to launch this one. Let's see if we can do a good job here. Let's try to get uh, maybe up over there. The whole uh, sector right there, so... Ah, I missed! All right. Oh, RGN. This is timed. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 3.2 to 4.2 seconds. Whew, okay, let's see. Oh, man, that truck just came out. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got a truck coming, so... Ah, man, just a slight, slightly above. Mark 2, pin timed 4.4 4, uh, 4, 4 to 5 seconds. Sorry, I thought I said 4.5. No distance medium. Okay, we're going to wait for that truck to go over back here. Oh, no, it's good. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, I missed. Yeah, my underhand throws could use a little work. Okay. Oh, what? All right. Ah, I missed a truck. All right, no nades left. You know what? Let's try one more time. Okay. No, I missed my chance. Okay, let's just see what can uh, what can we do here. Uh, truck's going in the tunnel. Going to come out of that one. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this. Ah, oh, missed. Missed the truck. I wanted to get like three of those things, but uh, all right, we got a. Uh, Got a regular M67 here. Four to five seconds. Let's see if I can hit that uh, that uh, trophy up there. All right, four to five seconds. Oh, I missed. Get it. Nice. Got some good stuff there. All right, we got a lot of grenades coming in. Smoke grenades. Not really that useful. Whoops, no. Uh, all right, we'll go with a regular grease weasel. Whew, okay. Got a truck coming soon, so should be popping out. Oh, I missed. Not good. I did hit a tree, though, but... Uh, not what I wanted. All right, I'm, uh, I think I'm up for an overhand throw. So I think I might try to hit that uh, trophy there. Let me just make sure there's no walls next to me. <coughs> ah, I missed. Oh, I still got it. Forgot grenades are explosive. <laughs> All right, ooh, cyber grenade. Well, I might keep that one. Uh, come back here, please. This one, this is the FMK2. Four to five seconds. Throw distance is far. I'm gonna try to aim for those trophies over there. Ah, I missed. Eh. Didn't quite get what I wanted, but hey, that's fine. 
All right, let's try. You know what? Let's try. Uh, let's try getting up there. All right. I just want to make sure the wall's not here. Okay, good. <laughs> this is a terrible mode if you have walls next to you. Ah, hit a building, but uh, not quite. All right. Mills bomb. Four to 4.4 seconds. Throw distance short, so this one's going to be pretty close. You know what? Uh, let's see. We got a car there. It's coming. I want to go and hit that silo. This car is really slow, so... One, two, three. Ah, oh, I missed. <laughs> that was that was terrible. Gas grenade. This one still has uh, explosive power, so maybe. Oh, this one's far. Hmm. There. Oh. I guess that's not that powerful. Although it did kill me, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. Impact grenade. Okay, so this one I'll just try to hit something. Anything. R is coming back and forth. This is a medium, right? Okay. I'll just wait for that car, that truck, or railroad, uh, whatever. Oh, well, hit something. Not quite what I was expecting, but hey. F1, 3.2 to 4 seconds. Going distance medium. Wait for this truck next to that barn right there. Ah, I missed. Smoke grenade. These are useless. Oh, wait. You can still... If I aim correctly... Oh, I missed. No, that's not going to do anything. All right. Mark two. Hmm. Still got these trophies on the side. Maybe I can throw. Ah, man. I didn't hit the trophy. All right. Got another uh, RGO. Oh. Well, oh, got a grenade. RG5. No distance far, so maybe I can. Come on! Oh, no, it didn't explode. Gotta work on that timing. Let's see, let's adjust this to uh, a five second fuse. All right, final attempt for right now. Uh, for today, of course. All right. There's a lot of targets up there. Maybe I can. Uh, Come on, come on. Nice. Got ourselves another grenade. Ooh. A couple more. Okay. Three seconds. Takes about three seconds to get up there. Uh, we'll try hitting that trophy up there. Ah. Well, I didn't hit the one I wanted, but... Uh, Good enough, I suppose. Okay, this one is far. So, again, I'm going to try to aim for those up there. One, two, three. Huh, managed to get it anyways. <laughs> okay. Got that trophy. And this one will go for the other trophy up there. Ah, man. Didn't hit the trophy. 
I got some more grenades, so that's good. Oh, the M26. Four to five seconds, far. All right, we're going to try one more trophy attempt. Oh, also, did I almost hit my wall there? Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, going for that middle one up there. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, not quite. Ah, oh, man, if, if I had timed that fuse correctly, I could have gotten that one. A smoke grenade. Fine. We'll just, uh... Yeah, nope. That didn't quite work. Okay. Whew. All right. Ah, oh, man. Didn't get that one. This one's far, right? So I can throw that up there. Nope, not quite. Not the right trophy, but I hit one anyways. Hey, we got this one. Blast radius, 1.5 meters. 3.2 to 4.6 seconds. Well, again, my goal is to try to hit that middle one. Ah, missed. Medium. Hmm, some medium targets. There's still have that barn over there. Ah, well, nope. That's not medium enough. Alright, what do we got here? We got the Mills Bomb. Throw this in short. Oh, well, that was a waste. Another Mills Bomb. Okay. Angle it perfectly. I'm going to go for that silo. Let's, uh, as soon as this car comes along, let's see if we can get both of them. Okay. Oh, my goodness. These Mills bombs are terrible. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got ourselves a cyber grenade. Uh, five second fuse, not bad. Okay. Well, you know what? Since this is the last one, let's see if we can go and get the, uh, Send a trophy up there. Oh no, that was a flubbed up throw. Well, 53 million. Okay, well, you know, that's the best I can do for right now. If I wasn't saddled with this uh, shoulder injury, I could probably do some overhand throws. But uh, yeah, there you go. This is the new Boomski mode. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. And like the little panel there that tells you what, like the specifics of the grenade, which uh, is pretty cool, you know. They should have that for the item spawner. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Anton's got to rework the item spawner one of these days, so maybe uh, that will. Because I, I like the information, like it 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 tells you stuff, right? So if you could, if you imagine to have that for a weapon, like current weapon, you know. Like, uh, the, uh, effect of, like, firing distance or engagement distance, you know, and how much ammo it currently has. And, uh, you know, that would be pretty cool. But, uh, you know, that's a, that's an item spawner re rework. Oh, oh, that's so close. Uh, <laughs> put the pin really far. Oh, I think Anton removed that feature as well. Like, you can't, like, accidentally pull the pin anymore. Let's put that back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> All right, one more grenade throw, and I think I will call it for a day because my shoulder is starting to act up. And, uh... All right. Need to get a hang of actually rolling... The, uh, the ball, sorry, the grenade. Ah, yeah, see, that's, uh, I'm not, I'm not doing it properly. 
I think that I think that's my problem. I'm not doing it properly. Right? That just completely missed. Got a tree though. Hmm. All right, one more. All right, well, you know, there you go. That's the update for HCVR today, update 98. And um, hopefully everything recorded properly. Uh, with my monitor situation, I don't know. Well, it's been an hour. Okay, well... Yep, that's about it for today, and I will see you guys next time.